So to start off with, bearing in mind that twist readers are 9 to 15 year old girls, yes. what's the number one reason that you would give them why they should totally go see Chasing Mavericks? Well, there's someone named Johnny Weston who's mm -hmm. not so bad to look at, <laughs> or surf with, or watch surf. Mm -hmm. um, but also there's just an amazing message about being proactive in your own life. Mm -hmm. And um, for young girls, I mean, Kim is a really amazing role model. She's mm -hmm. just like a very spiritual person and very loving and compassionate. And, and her relationship with Jay is very unique and special. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I would love, I want a love story like that too. So mm -hmm. I think that's what you should aspire to, a good man who, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. Now, Johnny told me a little bit about the love story, but I'd love to hear more about it kind of from your from side. From the female side that's yes. actually right? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about sort of the genesis of it and how you connected to it. Um, I just connected to it because they are so young, but they have such a strong soul connection and they are soulmates in the truest sense of the word. And they, um, they kind of met and were inseparable and had this insane respect for each other and insane respect for the ocean and the earth and mm -hmm. they connected on every level like that and I think that um, they were best friends, they were, you know, they were attracted to each other, um, they had fun together and they just had like a great relationship that was supportive and they supported each other in their dreams. Now, did you get to meet the real life Kim? I did, and yeah. Talk to her. What was that like? It was a wonderful experience. Um, I've never played a real life person before, and it was just, it was a diff very unique to play someone who's, you know, you want, who you respect and you love and you admire, and and you want to do her justice. And um, it was cool to just flesh out my character and make it a little more interesting than just your average love story between two teenagers. It was more than that. Now, did you get to learn to surf at all for the movie? I did. Okay. I learned, yeah, I had to learn um, right when I got the movie, and mm -hmm. then I kind of fell in love with it. How long did it take you until you felt like you were pretty confident on the board? Like a week. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's I was just, I'm super, like, full throttle with everything, so I was just in there all day, every day, till I got good enough to go out on my own. Now, something big for our readers, given their age, is often, like, beauty on the beach like how do you look good when you're doing stuff like surfing and well, other water sports what are your kind of best beauty products stuff like that I always wear like a tinted moisturizer tinted sunscreen okay. because I'm, I'm very conscious of the sun I'm really not interested in getting sunburned or mm -hmm. any sun damage at all mm -hmm. um, so you know really high levels of sunscreen and I always wear, try to wear a wetsuit just because you know, you don't, when you're surfing, you don't have any concept of time or how long you're out there or what you're doing right. or how badly you're being burnt. So um, I just, I, um, but, but mostly just, you know, I had to give up a lot of vanity when I started surfing because I am like always like wearing, you know, was wearing makeup and hair, doing my hair. But once you're in the water, that's all done. So mm -hmm. you just have, you really have to just give up a lot of that, mm -hmm. which was a very big lesson for me. And I, I'm really grateful because now I just, I'm a lot more confident and not as self-conscious and mm -hmm. you know I, there was nothing I couldn't hide behind makeup anymore I was just me and whoever I was with and Absolutely. the water and I think that's a great natural for yeah readers. is there a favorite specific tinted sunscreen like a specific product that I you have natural abyss okay natural abyss okay. I think is how you say it <laughs> but it's 50 and it's really creamy and uh -huh. so it kind of goes on like a foundation awesome. and it doesn't tend to get like just wipe off with water or sweat mm -hmm. and it kind of gives you more of a coverage. Now last question which we ask everyone that Twist talks to. We have a column in the magazine called True Confessions where celebrities share like a funny quirk about themselves like a weird food combination you like to eat or a funny habit or anything like that. Um, I'm so vague. I, well I mean it's just, there's so many horribly weird things about myself. Um, I I eat, I eat such, so much crap put together. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday I had edamame uh -huh. and raspberries oh. and tortilla chips in the same bowl. Oh wow, okay. Okay, that so that just goes <laughs> to show you what a freako I am and I loved it. Like I just throw anything in a bowl. Like my friends make fun of me because it's just, it's just chaos what okay. I eat. It's just terrible. Wild food company. It's it's it makes there's no rhyme or reason, but whatever it is, it has salt on it and it tastes good. So, 
Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you so much, Levin. It was really Thanks. great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I love your dog. Oh, thank you.